Hey everybody, this is Alex Merced from AlexMercedCoder.com and it's been a while, like a couple, like a year or so ago I did a video on how I make videos, but since then I've learned a lot more, um, you know, the videos have become better, so I thought I would make a new video on how I make videos, okay, so because it's really good to make content, especially if you're looking to break into an industry where basically your knowledge, your skills, and being able to demonstrate those skills is at a, comes at a premium, meaning like, you know, it pays to be able to show that, hey, I can do a thing, um, and I can talk about a thing. Um, making videos, writing blog posts, things like that, really, really can help you stand out uh, relative to just a resume where you're just saying you can do a thing, and I just kind of have to take your word for it and bring you in for an interview, and. And then after that, schedule another technical to find out that maybe you don't know how to do the thing. Um, so again, being able to demonstrate it by saying, hey, here's a video up front. Let me take that risk off the table. Here's a blog post. You can see me communicate. You can see me do the thing. Uh, it's very valuable, but you also want to make a, a nice video because videos can be an ends and an ends in themselves. What I use is OBS Studio. OBS Studio is free open broadcaster software. Okay, it is free and it's available on all operating systems. No, no, I don't want the Windows one. I'm not on Windows right now. Okay. But yeah, so that's that's the software. Download it. It's great. Okay, let me show you how it works. So let me just drag it over to the screen. Do, 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 do. Isn't that a cool Inception kind of effect? So essentially what you're seeing here is what is currently being recorded. Okay, so if you see this, you have a little audio mixer here where you can mix your different inputs. So like right now I have my desktop audio um, turned off because oftentimes I'll have like maybe I'll be uh, you know in a zoom meeting or I have other tabs and I want accidentally sounds to kind of come up but if I'm like interviewing someone or something then maybe I'll, I'll turn that on to record that okay but you can manage your different audio inputs in here okay and then over here you have you can stream okay so you can go through your settings and set up like your streaming key so that way you can live stream to like a Twitter or a Facebook or whatever um, then there's recording and the cool thing is like the, the more recent versions uh, if you get like a really really old version um, if you're on Linux be careful if you if you I think if you do like this like apt install OBS you do end up with an older version that doesn't have this pause feature which is great because I can just pause in the middle of recording and the beauty of this is I don't have to do very little to no editing okay um, basically what you do is you set everything up so what you do is you set up different scenes okay so for example like I have this blank screen scene okay and that's just essentially a black screen okay and then I have this video right here coder uh, well let me go back to the screen share then I have this coder video so when you see like the video intro at the beginning of my videos usually what I do is I start it off on a blank screen the minute it starts recording I just click on coder video <laughs> and you see the video okay and then I just switch back to screen share this makes it where I don't have to do any post editing to add any kind of video bumpers or or opening themes I just have it queued up in these different scenes because you can add as many scenes as you want and then what that scene contains is over here in sources so I can add like this one has a like, video capture so this is like my webcam and then so you can see like my webcam is kind of cropped which is like the way I've set it up that way is for a green screen, although this was like a bad day to choose to wear a green shirt when you're doing green screen. <laughs> um, and then there's screen capture, so this is like the actual screen, and again, you can like kind of resize it and play with it. And again, I can either drag it, which will warp it, or I can use hold, if I hold the Alt key when dragging these corners, it'll actually crop it, same thing for the webcam. Okay, so see, these are some of the things I didn't really know before. And also, if you right click on these, there's a bunch of other options, okay, so for example, filters. So here for video, see here's where I can set like the chroma key for green screen. So see I have like this little green screen circle on my chair. I'm gonna get an actual like proper green screen pull up at some point, but um, we'll work on that. But basically here I can kind of set like, you know, whether there's, and again I can turn that on and off. So you can see like that's what's really going on. I have this like green screen circle thing. And this is like, you can probably get this for like 10, 20 bucks off Amazon. You can see I kind of pasted some pieces of paper there the reason being is that the light from my window kind of shines through a little bit right there so it's not very green the amount of light so again I'm gonna get like a proper green screen but again you can turn on the chroma key and then it kind of makes that disappear um, generally what you'd like ideally to get a better green screen what you do is you use this like select color uh, option you know so basically what I do is I would turn this off 
Then I would hit select color. Actually, I don't want to do that. I want to select color from the screen. So you go custom, select color, uh, pick screen color. Here we go. And then you just choose a color from the screen. And then if I turn this back on, I get that. And then you can use this like this some of these little toggles to kind of improve it. So like right now that kind of makes me disappear. Smoothness. And you tweak it as depending on what you depending on the day and the lighting. Okay, so that's a little bit better. Again, I'm wearing green, so it's kind of screwing it all up. But I hit close, and what I did is I cropped it, so that way it's just like basically my immediate head in here. Okay, and um, yeah, that's how you kind of get this effect. Um, cool. Other cool things you can do. Let's see here. I mean, that's that's all you really need at the end of the day. But again, there's a lot of other kind of filters you can do just to show you. Like if I click plus filter. So you have all these other kind of cool things you can do. Um, one 